Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. These earthquakes in the Coso Volcanic Field and Ridgecrest have been ongoing ever since the 7.1 earthquake. What surprised the scientists um, from that earthquake is all the other faults that were activated and ruptured from that 7.1 earthquake. Uh, many of them were known and there was many fault zones that they didn't know. And what also surprised the scientists is all the fault zones had a right lateral strike slip or motion. They keep telling us that there is no uplift from the volcanic field. But there is uplift and it goes 60 miles out in all directions. So why is there 60 miles of uplift in all directions? I measured it out using Google Earth. Um, that's a large area of uplift just from a 7.1 earthquake and the other earthquake fault zones that erupted because of that. Luckily, the uplift in the uh, fault zones that erupted um, ended just short of the Garlock Fault Zone. The Garlock Fault Zone has been quiet for basically about 500 years until the stress of these earthquakes have now put pressure on the Garlock Fault Zone and it has become reactivated in the Garlock Fault Zone, they think is an extension of the San Andreas Fault Zone. I find it very hard to believe that you would have 60 miles of uplift in all directions from an earthquake. Now I could see it from a volcano, the magma that's on the move, and maybe they forgot about this paper that USGS published. It's still up and running. It's still available we have spreading that's going on and you'll notice where that spreading more likely is at because of the felt reports from the 7.1 earthquake. Notice that? The Garlock Fault which runs perpendicular to the San Andreas Fault is only 60 kilometers 37 miles to the south and the field itself sits within a step over zone of extension spreading in a strike slip fault system. This complex tectonic environment relates directly to the volcanic activity of the COSO field. As the process of extension or spreading occurs in this region, fractures occur allowing magma to fill in the openings. These are magma filled fractures are called dikes and with great extension more dikes will be in place. Dikes can then feed volcanic vents and therefore eruptions on the surface. So, the greater the extensional strain in the COSO region, the greater the number of dikes and the greater number of vents. However, it is important to note that although extension causes intrusion of magma into the dikes, the rate of intrusion must exceed the rate of extension by 200 times in order to cause a widespread eruption. In October of this year, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory posted a paper, Caltech NASA finds web of ruptures in Ridgecrest quake and they go into about all the different fault lines that are ruptured, the uplift which is about three and a half feet at the center where this earthquake occurred and of course it lessens the farther out that it goes. So do they in fact have a volcano that is slowly recharging for another eruption? Can you see the lines of 60 miles out? How close it is to uh, Bakersfield, uh, Fort Tijon, uh, the Grapevine, um, yeah, the San Gabriel Mountains, and Los Angeles. There has been other swarms there in that area in the past. In 2012, they had a swarm of earthquakes and then it settled down and stopped. And then all of a sudden it decided, I think it's recharging for another eruption. Uplift of 60 miles in every direction in a circle, just like a volcano. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.